Welcome to Simply Excel. In this video, we're going to take a look at the if error function. What the if error function allows you to do is handle errors from functions and formulas and return maybe a default message or an error message to help you deal with them. Firstly, let's take a look at how the function is constructed. So I'm just going to type equals if error. Open my brackets. You'll see there's two arguments we can pass to the if error. The first is the value we're evaluating to see if it's an error. So this would normally be wrapped around your function or formula and then the values that you want to display if there's an error. Let's take a look at how we might use this. In this example I've got our full price for items, our discount percentage and we're calculating the sale price. Our data is all correct at the moment so our formula and sale price columns working correctly. But if for example we replace one of these discounts with just a percentage symbol You'll see that the sale price now returns an error from that formula. So if we wanted to use if error to let us know to flag up that there's an invalid discount in there, we can simply wrap our formula in this cell in the if error function. So we just type if error and open our brackets, so we're enclosing that original formula. The first argument for if error is our value that we want to evaluate, and that's going to be the output of this formula. Just come and put a comma after that. And then what do we want to display if we return an error from that formula? So if we just say invalid discount. And now where our discount isn't specified correctly, our sale price displays an invalid discount error message. So we can go and sort that out. So that's quite easy to find in our data. I hope you found this quick overview of the if error function useful. Please like and subscribe to my channel for more Excel tips. Thanks for watching.